Three pigs and a gingerbread man. Three little pigs lived in a big yard in a big house made of red bricks. They baked all day and had so much fun till a wolf began to play tricks. He grinned and cried, little piggies, it's a week since I last came to town. And I thought I'd come to say sorry that I blew your house of sticks down. The wolf peered in through the window as the three pigs mixed in a pan. The flour, the sugar, the milk, and the eggs to bake a gingerbread man. The pigs shut the door of the oven and looked to a wolf in the eye. Beat it, they cried. If we let you in, you'll burn us into a pork pie. The wolf was now getting angry and ran to the door around the side. He started ringing the doorbell. Quick, said the pigs, let's hide. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, growled the wolf. But I'm weary today, so save me the trouble and open the door and I'll come in the easy way. The gingerbread man heard all of the fuss and banged on the hot oven door. Ready, he cried, I'm crispy and brown and he jumped down onto the floor. Hey, gingerbread man, called the wolf with a wink. Would you give me a hand to get in? I won't let you in, he shouted back. Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. The gingerbread man stood there fearless as the wolf's hunger sharpened and grew. Go away, you big greedy beast. I know you'll eat me up too. The wolf climbed onto the wolf of the house and looked down the chimney of bricks. The gingerbread man cried, Quick, little pigs, let's light up a fire with sticks. That won't scare me, the mean wolf laughed as he jumped down and looked about. I'll just find a bucket of water to put your silly fire out. The wolf leaped towards the three little pigs as they shook with fear and fled. But the gingerbread man came to their rescue and kicked water all over his head. Yes. Take that, cried the gingerbread man as the wolf fled from pig yard. As the pigs lived happily ever after with the gingerbread man as their guard.